All right, so I have um, unzipped this and I'm going to take a look at this. Okay, whatever. I'm going to hope this is still running. Yeah, I, I think it's running. Um, and what you see are some shape files. I have uh, Oregon counties, Oregon schools. I've got the DBF, the projection file, indexing file, the shape for all of those. And I'm going to import those into my feature data set. Um, Actually, what I want to do first, I'm going to add one of these. Uh, let's find that. Where do you think I, oh, there it is. I'm going to just add those two here as shape files. See how they're nice little green uh, symbols there. I'm going to add them here. And here they are. Um, and you'll see that if I look at the uh, properties here and I wait a while, the projection here is a geographic projection. Its angular units are in degrees. It's uh, Geographic Coordinate System, WGS84. You can see that uh, this is not the right uh, shape of Oregon. And because these two were the layers that I put in first, my data frame now has uh, that same coordinate system, WGS84. So my data frame will take the coordinate system of the first layer that I add. So I'm going to remove those now. Yeah, I'm not. I'm going to leave them here. Okay, so I'm going to right click my feature data set and I'm going to choose to import a single feature class. And I could use these that are here. Yours will be on your desktop, so I'm going to go ahead and do it the way you would need to go find them here. Um, there we go. So I'm going to import schools, and I'm going to have to name this. So, and I'm going to take all the rest of the defaults. Here are the attribute tables that are coming in with me, name as text. Uh, the city FIPS code or the identifier, which is text, elevation in meters, which is double um, uh, integer, and a label flag, which is a long integer. So I'm going to choose OK. And you can't see that, but my little world is spinning. If you have trouble with this, and sometimes I've run into trouble with importing into my feature data set, if that happens, you can export out of the table of contents into your feature data set. And uh, hopefully that will, that will work here in a second. Yeah, that did not work for me. Yeah, I could not import into this, but I was able to export this uh, from the table of contents into the geo database. So I'll show you how I did that. I right clicked the Oregon counties. I did data export data. I navigated to my, let's just show you what it looked like when I went to my desktop here. I navigated uh, huh, to the desktop, went into my GIS folder, into chapter five into my folder, open the geo database, and open the feature data set. And then I can name this Oregon Counties, save, OK. Cool, OK. I love that. OK, Oregon Schools is in there. 
Interesting. Oh boy. Okay. Well, let's try to import Oregon counties. I do not know. This is fascinating. Okay, let's try to import that. Import feature class. Let's try Oregon counties. I'm going to say OK. But nothing is spinning. OK, I'm going to give it a minute. If it doesn't work, I am going to... Oh, look at that. Oregon Schools has a lock on it. Hey, that's a new one on me. I have never seen that that lock. Okay, so what I'm going to do is close arc map and start that again. Okay, so I successfully got Oregon schools in here. And there they are. And it does not have a lock on it now. So I'm going to try, and so I opened a whole new uh, MXD. I didn't use my old map or save it. I just started from scratch. So I'm going to try to import again. What is that? The, the uh, definition of insanity. Okay, I'm going to try to import Oregon counties. Okay, I've got Oregon schools. So I'm going to go to Oregon counties. Nice thing is it does kind of remember where you were before. So let's try that. And if that, oh, it's spinning, it's spinning. I'm going to try to refresh. It stops spinning. Oregon schools, and it is not here. And that's locked again. So it's trying to import that. Okay, so importing is not working. Um, so I'm going to stop and I'm going to go back to exporting. So, okay, so I have a new MXD open. I'm going to add uh, Oregon counties here. All right, I'm going to export that into. So you want to go into your Chapter 5, open up your folder. You have to open the geodatabase. So it says, look in the geodatabase. I want it in the feature data set. So I have to say, look in the feature data set. So when you do this, you should be able to see it come in right beside the Oregon schools. Let's keep your fingers crossed on this one. Yes, so that worked. Um, so, you know, it's a great problem solving, quite boring little demo. But now I have, um, two copies of Oregon counties. So which one you might say is the one that I want, right? All right. So the way to tell which one it is, is to go to the list by source. And now you can see that this is the shape file and these both are in my feature data set so I can remove this one and now both of my data layers are here now I don't know if you noticed when I pulled that in I got a, um, a projection warning that, that I had data in two different projections so remember that I added that shape file that was a geographic projection first. So my data frame is still in the geographic projection and it's drawing my data on the fly to look like it's in a geographic projection. However, my data, because it's in my feature data set, is actually in the um, Lambert uh, Oregon Statewide Lambert um, Conformal Conic Projection. So what I need to do now is change this on the fly. 
So I'm going to change my properties here to match that. And voila, um, now my data is being shown in the correct projection. So once you do that, you're going to make sure you store relative pathways. You're going to save this as, or save it into, oh my gosh, all the way, where are we going here? Into chapter five, into here. You're going to save this there. And that's going to show up here. You do not want to put this in your geodatabase. So I can collapse my feature data set, collapse my geodatabase, and collapse this. And everything is nicely uh, contained in that map. And I'm just going to save it once more to be sure. Oh, I opened two of those. That's really fun. And so now, if I go in here, I hope it's still working. I don't know what it's doing. Okay, we're going to assume it's working. I'm going to go in here, and now everything I need is in that folder. There's my MXD, there's my geodatabase. I'm going to come out and I'm going to, uh, I guess I'm using 7-zip. I'm going to add to archive. I'm going to zip it. Um, why is it? Boy, my computer is just being really weird today. Okay, and then that's what you're going to upload in Moodle along with your two um, price map PDFs.